Pi pro pi pro pi pro pi pro ke pa sa sa pa se wa de do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. Call it news with a buzz. Now you've heard me on several occasions telling you why you cannot trust anybody. You can't trust politician. You can't trust popo. You cannot trust some people that you're in relationship with. Sometimes those persons that say that they love you, they are actually wolves in sheep clothing. As a matter of fact, most of the people that get hurt or get K-I-L-L-E-D. It is usually people that they know that said or once cared for them. I am speaking about an incident that occurred back in April 4th of 2013 where a young lady, her name is Jodie Ann Gray. She was a broadcaster at one of those popular radio stations. She was in a relationship with a bigger broadcaster. His name is Wayne White. Wayne White was actually married. Wayne White actually had two kids at the time. Jody Ann said that she did not know that he was married. They were doing their thing. She thought that they were a couple, they were an item. Within one year of that relationship, Jody Ann got pregnant. Based on what Jody Ann said, this man, Mr. White, asked her kindly to abort that child. She decided that she was not going to do it because as far as she is concerned, it is her body. She can do whatever she so chose. If he just wants to be the sperm donor and he don't want to support his child, she is not giving her child away. You know exactly what I am speaking about. It seems as if Mr. White was not okay with that. So on about June 26 of 2013, he hired, he tried to hire a couple of hitmen. Some of them declined. He hired a person whose name is Safari Far. He was supposed to be a Rasta man at the time. If you look at the screen, that is Jody's picture. The next picture is Mr. White. The next picture is Safari Far. He was the hitman. Like I said in June of 26, 2013, Mr. White wrote a check to Mr. Far to do some sorts of hits. Based on the information from the Popo, Miss Gray was at her gate at her house in Cedar Grove that is in Portmore. When she was approached by a man, Mr. Farr, the hitman, in blaze up some corn on her, he hit her a couple of times, four times to be specific. He then ran, jumped into a vehicle. That vehicle was driven by the boyfriend that she thought she had, the father of her child. They drove away. That vehicle belonged to the wife. Of Mr. White's. Like I told you, this incident occurred over a decade ago. Miss Gray came out and she did some sorts of live and she's explaining the situation without calling any sorts of names. I am going to let you take a listen, take a look to what Miss Gray had to say about the situation, what happened, how it happened, and then I am going to give you what the street is saying. Word on the street, and I am going to give my piece fairly. Take a listen, take a look. So yes, they did find who did it. Um, it was a sperm donor of my child. Um, he was living a double life, told me that he was separated from his wife. And um, when I got pregnant, ordered me to do an abortion because he didn't have any money. <laughs> And I told him I didn't need his money, I didn't need him, and went about my business. Um, seven months into the pregnancy, um, one evening, 
It was a great Wednesday evening after work on my way home. Um, I was greeted by a gunman who repeatedly shot me. I was shot four times. Um, within 20 minutes of him doing the crime, he was caught. Um, I was conscious enough to point out the getaway vehicle to the police while I was being brought to the hospital. Um, but even so, his hands would have been all over the crime. He drove the getaway car. He paid the men the deposit with a check. There were various phone conversations between him and the men and even other gunmen that he was trying to hire who didn't take the job. Um, he drove his wife's car and um, used paper to cover the license plate. So the car was, when the police ran the registration plate at first, I thought at that time it was his ex-wife or soon-to-be ex-wife who brought out the act only to find out it was him because the police had traced the car to her and um it was it was it was a really 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 difficult time um it's 10 years later and i still don't know how i survived it but yeah they did catch who did it and you know it's it's really an unfortunate situation um, because I tried everything to just walk away. Um, I made a decision for my body to keep my child and um, I was almost murdered for it, but my child is alive and it's one of the greatest gifts I've ever received. I'm so grateful, so, so grateful. So to all the people who, you know, gave me kind words, I read some of the mean ones and that's fine. I'm, I'm used to it, but I'm really grateful for, you know, the kind words, the support and the love that I've gotten over the years and even up to now. Now, people, this is my disclaimer before I proceed. This lady is indeed a victim. This lady almost lost her life while she was carrying a child for the man that paid the hitman for put out a hit for take her out, send her to the afterlife. No sorts of justification. She said it herself. She gave her side of the story. However, people like them say there are always two sides to the story. You heard her said, she got some kind comments, some comments of support. She got some mean comments. I am going to speak about why people would have any sorts of mean comments. Not saying that it is justified. Like I said before, there is no justification for what this man did. However, the word on the street is that they were in a relationship. The man, Mr. White, he was married, had a wife, had two children. People are saying that, yes, she probably knew. Did she know? She just told you that she did not know. However, people were saying that she must have known. Both of them worked as broadcasters at the same station, at the same physical place. However, it seems as if this girl, Miss Gray, thought that, yes, me can get pregnant and me can take over the man or take over the man. She told you that was not so. I am just giving you the reasons why people are giving her all sorts of bad comments. Word on the street is that she also threatened that she was going to go to his wife and tell the wife, say, listen, me pregnant for your husband, me pregnant for your man, and me a take with the man. People, me just a tell you where people a say. People were saying that unless she was gullible, unless she was naive, she must have known, she must have had some sorts of idea, some sorts of inclination. Again, it does not make it right. This man, Mr. White, is very cruel. 
This man, Mr. White, should have gotten life imprisonment. But you understand how Jamaica works. Whenever you have any sorts of name, whenever you have any sorts of link, you are automatically in the body body club. You are shielded. You are defended. Even after M-U-R-D-E-R or any sorts of attempted just as bad. Based on information, it is said that Mr. White and Mr. Farr, they were sentenced. They were given 14 years. I know that Mr. White got 14 years. However, he would have been eligible for parole or release after he did two-thirds of his time, which would have been about nine years and eight months or so. Don't know if this lady, Mrs. Gray, knows that he is out. He was released a couple of years ago. He is presently free on the street while this lady has to go through some sorts of nightmare for the rest of her natural life. Here is some more facts that is even more disturbing. Mr. Farr, in his caution statement, I guess he turned some sorts of witness or he did the right thing, said that, confirmed that he was paid $250,000 by Mr. White. You heard the lady said it herself. He was paid by a check. People, we are speaking about paper trail. We are speaking about a man that was supposed to have been a decent man. As a matter of fact, it is said that he also had some sorts of Christian program that he was the broadcaster for. So people, if a man that is supposed to be a Christian, wolf in a sheep clothing, can commit an act like that, conspired to take away this lady. The sentence was 14 years for wounding with intent, 10 years for illegal fire piece, and also 5 years for the ammo. Those sentences run concurrent. So therefore he did two-thirds of the 14 years based on good behavior. He is out already. And this lady is still stressing based on this video. Mr. Farr also said in the caution statement that he gave to the Popo that was used as testimony in court. He did not know that Miss Gray was pregnant at the time. Mr. White did not tell him. People, if him never know, or if him know, it does not make any sorts of difference. He took money to take away somebody's life. Just because of money, he decided he is going to take away this lady's life. So therefore, if him did take away a lady that is pregnant, or a lady that was not pregnant, it would not have made any sorts of difference. The thing about this case, while Miss Gray was being transported to the hospital with four corn in her body, she was able to tell the poor poor, listen, the vehicle that did it was this type of vehicle which turned out to be the vehicle of Mr. White, Mr. White's wife that he was married to at the time that he either lied or this lady was naive. Me no know the circumstance. Me have to go with the side of the victim. While she was traveling, hurt, almost on her D-E-A-T-H bed, she told the Popo what type of vehicle. They intercepted the vehicle moments or minutes after. So people... We say, say, this man who people put on a pedestal, who had some sorts of program, was some sorts of popular radio announcer. He was no different than the common criminal. As a matter of fact, we have an idea what criminals do. They are doing their jobs. However, when people act as if they are holier than thou, and then they do the most despicable crimes. They are even worse 
than the average are, cr are common criminals. Point blank and period. The good thing is that this lady survived. This lady has her little girl and they are both happy. After all that they went through. People, this is an next tragic story coming out of Jamaica. However, we should not be surprised. You cannot trust nobody, none at all. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like this, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, and sharing to my channel. And also, please subscribe to my next channel. The link is in the description. Bless up.